To treat the adductors, we are again going to wrap the adductor compartment first to begin. We can see here that we have the majority of the skin on show, but we must be conscious of the fact that the skin on the inside of the thigh is quite sensitive and for some people can be quite hairy also. Ultimately, as a therapist treating, you always want to be able to see the skin that you are treating. So first, I would always advise ensuring that there are no contraindications to the skin before wrapping and then if you wish to apply the tape over clothing such as very close fitting gym shorts then I would say after seeing the skin it would be more than safe to do so. Once the tape is in place we can then carry out a variant of functions such as flexion and extension of the knee but here in a squat we can go through abduction and adduction of the hip as well. So it's all about moving the hip through as many ranges of motion as possible through varying planes and flossing that tissue and mobilising the joints that surround the tissue as much as possible within pain and discomfort tolerances, not pushing the technique too much too soon, whether you're the treating therapist or you're treating yourself. Two of my favourites for the hip itself are the 90-90 hip stretch, like so, where we have the hip at 90 degrees and the knee at 90 degrees. And here we want to try and sit the right hand side hip down onto the ground. You'll find that if you're a little bit more inflexible, the hips will sit a little bit higher. And we can see here, we're just gently rocking and pulsing into the stretch. A second stretch that may be of benefit as well is the bear stretch. We will sit on our sit bones and pull the heels close into us. And then we're going to push the chest and the hips through like so. And this will be a nice deep stretch into the hips and into the adductors.